All right, so Peter Ducey of Fox News went at it with the White House press secretary over this FBI raid. This is a really interesting clip for a number of reasons. Now, the reporting is that Biden has said, I, I had no idea about this raid. I didn't have any knowledge beforehand. It was just, you know, executed by the FBI. And look, I believe him. And the reason I believe him is Obama and Biden reacted in a very clear way when there was some political pressure to go after George W. Bush and Dick Cheney and prosecute them for any of million crimes they committed. I mean, they were arguably even bigger criminals than Trump, right? And Obama came out and said, we look forward, not backwards. And Biden defended that line. And I have no doubt he believes in that line because he is part of the old school backslapping um, DC group. You know, he thinks they're all part of a club. They're all insiders. Regardless of political differences, we're like one and the same. And so even when there's disagreement, they kind of look out for each other. So Democrats didn't go after Republicans. And um, that's the way it works. So he says he didn't know. I believe him. But Peter Ducey is going to like grill uh, the White House press secretary on this exact question. And the exchange is really weird. So anyway, let's watch. Deciding his handling of COVID last week. Yeah. You've mentioned his January 6th response a couple days yeah. ago. So can you say, based on all that, I, I didn't say anything about Mar-a-Lago. I'm just asking you if you consider the president I'm, to be I'm saying from here I'm not going to comment on that. Does the president still want to uh, think that he would be very fortunate to run against Trump in 2024, like he has said before? Again, I'm not going to comment it's on... Just, it's just I'm not... On that point, that would be incentive to not legally go after him, right? The whole, like, I want to run against him in 2024. That wouldn't be incentive to go after him. So that's a little bit of a contradiction because he's going to, Ducey's going to press on the case of like, are you sure he didn't know about it? Are you sure he didn't approve it? Um, the president, in the next election, I'd be very fortunate if I had that same man running against me. Does he still All I can that? tell you, Peter, is that the president intends to run in 2024. Is there a concern here that if you guys don't say more, then these Republicans who are accusing this White House of weaponizing the Justice Department, weaponizing the FBI, are, that's going to be... Trump appointed the head of the FBI who approved this. ...on the, the public sentiment. If you guys don't say once and for all, we are not doing that. First, first of all, we're just not going to comment on the Department of Justice investigation. Okay, we're just, we're here. just not if going to comment are, on is that. Is this White House weaponizing the Justice Department and the FBI against, against political opponents. If they said, as they did repeatedly, they weren't aware of the search, then how can you ask that question? That makes no sense. Because clearly you have your answer. You even know about it. So, oh, I'm weaponizing the Justice Department against political enemies. Um, you already have the answer, but you don't like it. So you're pressing more because you want to get the answer that you want to get. <clears throat> The president has been very clear uh, from before he was elected, very clear on this. Hold on. It's Throughout been, his time in now, office. I, I heard the quote. We will be playing the quote tonight at 6 o'clock. Is this administration weaponizing the Justice Department and the FBI against political opponents? Peter, the president believes in the rule of law. The president believes in the independence of the Department yes, of Justice. Yes or no? Just no, is that is... She's really bad at this job. She makes the professional liar Jen Psaki look like the Michael Jordan being White House press secretary. So, no, of course he's not. He even know about the raid. So how can he be weaponizing the Justice Department or the FBI against um, political opponents? He even know about it. So no, he's not doing the thing that you're asking me if he's doing. No. Next question. No, it's a yes or a no for you. I'm answering the question. You may not like it, but I'm answering the question. Okay. And I'm... No. No, nope. I'm answering the question and I'm telling you that we are not going to comment on a criminal investigation. The president has been very clear. I laid out what his thoughts were back on January 7th in 2021 about how he saw the Department of Justice. And I'm just going to leave it there. We are not going to comment from here, from this White House, on a criminal investigation that is currently happening. So I think she came across as needlessly evasive. I think she could have been much more direct in her answers. Um, I think she's bad at this job. I also think it's probably true that Biden didn't have any foreknowledge of this, because if he did know, he probably would have cucked out, because that's what Democrats do. Um, but I'll go a step further. 
even if Biden did know, and even if he approved it, that's totally fine. Totally fine. In the same way, I would have been, uh, you know, if Trump, if Trump's Justice Department went after Hillary Clinton, I would have been like, what are you going to do? Now, look, the specifics matter, right? If they go after her on something that I think is stupid, I would have told you guys that's not the right thing to go after her for. But an investigation, am I against any and all investigations into somebody who I think is a criminal? Of course not. Of course not. And so it should work the same here. You know, I know Republicans would have supported an investigation into Hillary or wanted to Hunter or whatever, right? Um, but now the objection seems to be just on principle, right? It's like, you shouldn't be able to investigate your political opponents. And it's like, well, then would you forego the Hunter investigation, the Hillary investigation, et cetera? And of course they wouldn't. So they're just being like massively hypocritical. And look, Trump has said multiple times, you know, I'm going to weaponize the Justice Department. He didn't say it in those words, but he's had lists of people investigate this person for that and that person for that and this group for that. So he said that only some of those would I object to when I just thought the issue was kind of made up. But plenty of the stuff, it's fine. You know, it's fine. I don't, I don't see, I don't see a problem with that. Um, but I, I actually believe Biden that he sort of leaves them alone to, to do their own thing. He's got enough on his plate dealing with a thousand other things. Um, and I think ultimately he wants to run against Trump. So in a weird way, if this stuff takes down Trump, that might, he might view that as like worse for him politically. So anyway, but look, the grilling from the Fox news host there was persistent and pff, you gotta, you gotta fire this white house press secretary. She's just not good at the job. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.